They are going to get a stamina boost. Please tell me I went for the Drain Punch. I did go for Drain Punch. Lovely. And we get the KO on the Archaladon. Oh, you love to see it. We're just cooking them with Toxicroak right now. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Double Battles. And today, we have another rain team, but this time featuring Kyogre and Toxicroak. So, we have a very fun rain team here with Dry Skin, Toxicroak, and Swiss Swim Ludicolo. So, where do we start? Okay, we got Kyogre here. But this time, I decided to sack um, Origin Pulse on it and give it Surf instead. Because Origin Pulse just always throws games for me. It always misses in key moments when I need it to hit the most. So yeah, instead we give it Surf and it's also got Thunder. So now I decided to get rid of Ice Beam and give it Thunder because next to Kyogre will be that Toxicroak with Dry Skin. So Dry Skin alone allows Toxicroak to get HP recovered under the rain and it can be hit by water type moves. So next to Toxicroak, Kyogre can easily go for those Surfs and deal damage to the opposing side while at the same time healing up my own Toxicroak. Now, Toxicroak next to Kyogre is nice as it helps cover for its grass-type weaknesses. With Poison Jab, it's got the Focus Sash to make sure that this thing doesn't get one-hit KO since it's really, really fragile. And it's got Fake Out, Source Dance to get that plus two in attack because its damage output isn't great. It's all right, but it's not great. And then it's got Poison Jab and Drain Punch as its stab moves. So what we're hoping for here is Toxicroak can survive a hit and be brought down to Focus Sash, for example. And with the combination of Surf and Drain Punch, we can easily go back to full HP and give ourselves another Focus Sash and have that constant HP recovery and that constant cycle of going down to 1 HP and getting back to full HP. So, we'll see if that's going to be able to happen, you know? Um, and then we've got Swift and Ludicolo with Fake Out, Icy Wind for Speed Control, Hydro Pump, and Energy Ball as its stab moves. And it's also got the Assault Vest to give us some extra bulk. And with Swift Swim, we'll be able to outspeed most Mons. Now, next up, we've got Special Salamence with Intimidate. It has Draco Meteor, Hurricane, Steel Terra Terra Blast and Protect. And it's got the Life Orb for that extra damage output. And then we've also got a Mandibuzz for support with Tailwind. Snarl to lower opponent's um, special attack. And Taunt to avoid, you know, any Trick Room teams that want to get set up. And then you turn as a form of Pivot in order to get that Kyogre out or get any other Pokemon that we need in that current situation out. And finally, the glue for this team, the Holy Grail for this team, is going to be that Pachirishu with Follow Me and Volt Absorb. With so many Maridons everywhere, Volt Absorb Pachirishu is going to be so key to redirect these electric type moves and keep my guys safe as we really don't have an answer to electric moves. Like most of these guys either take super effective or neutral damage to electric type moves. So Pachirishu is going to be very key in preventing the opponent from bringing that Maridon or, you know, at least being able to follow me and redirect those discharges or volt switches or um, electro drifts. Um, so I'm really curious to see how good of an answer Pachirishu is to these Maridons since Maridon is all over the place right now. So we'll see how good this thing is. And the good thing about this team is that we have double um, ways of lowering um, the opponent's attack. We have Intimidate with the Salamence. And then we also have Baby Doll Eyes on the Pachirishu. And then we have Mandibuzz with the Snarl to lower their special attack. So overall, a very well-built team, I want to say myself. But some things that we are missing is, for example, a Wide Guard. You know, so many spread moves out there now. Wide Guard is pretty key in most teams, but we don't have that in this team. And then a second form of Weather Control. I was very, very, very tempted to putting Tornadus or Thunderous with Prankster and Rain Dance and Tailwind, but I just don't want to be too basic. I don't want to be too boring, so we decided to throw Mandibuzz instead for that extra support and extra bulk. So yeah, overall, really looks like a cool team. I think it'll work out pretty well. Tux Krog looks pretty cool. It's got the Fire Tower up because it can't get hit by water type moves, so it's pretty, pretty neat. But guys, if you find yourself enjoyed this video, please feel free to like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're returning, if you and I joined the console so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out, and I'd really appreciate it. But now, Let's get rolling with this Kyogre and Toxic Scroll team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got our first battle against Tom, and they've also got a rain team, but they've got no, no restricted mod. Okay, that's fine. They do have the Wide Guard though, and they have the Palafin. Hmm, Toxic Stroke looks pretty nice here. I don't mind the Kyogre and Toxic Stroke as a lead. Now, if they do have the Archaladon, that thing can be pretty annoying so i'm actually gonna bring in Pachirishu in the back with volt absorb just to redirect those moves and then maybe just go into salamence with the intimidate i think that could be nice we don't really need speed control yeah i'm, I'm gonna go those four we don't need speed control with mandibus here not really a speedy team on their side they do have the speed boost um blaziken but i'm not too worried about that thing that thing is frail um ludicolo on the other hand as well doesn't really do much to this team we have we have answers for the palafin 
Yeah, we're fine. We're good with these four. We'll see what they bring in. But a very passive team, no restricted mod. I mean, should be, should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy, but we'll see. Hopefully, Tox Crow can put in some work. They're going to run down the time to the last couple of seconds. Of course, they are. They're going to run out of time. Lovely. So, it's going to be that Archaladon and Polytoad lead for them. Looks like it. Um, so double... Hmm. You know, in that case, then, I could just go into, like... I could just go into a Swords Nest. No, they didn't run out of time. They have Blaziken and Palafin. Okay, fair enough. I want to say this is a pretty free turn to just go for Swords Dance. What are, what are our speeds here looking like? I'm pretty sure Kyogre's faster, right? Yeah, 156 and 130. So. Could just go into a Water Spout. And I'm just going to go into a, a Fake Out here. Or I could just go Swords Dance. Let's go Swords Dance. Because they're probably going to swap, swap out the Palafin. They just attack. Alright, beautiful. They're going to go for a flip turn. Oh, they go for a flip turn onto, dry, onto my Dreskin Toxicroak. That ain't happening, buddy. <laughs> it's not happening. So Water Spout's going to come out here. I'm going to do a ton of damage onto the Palafin. And we're going to get Swords Dance up. Nice. And they're going to get that speed boost. So they're 100% faster than me. I'm just going to go for that Surf. Just go for a Drain Punch, right? What does this thing have? Maybe like a Fire type move, a Fighting type move. Which both of them shouldn't take me out. So let's just go Drain Punch into the Blaze again. Why not? Flip Turn comes onto my Kyogre. going to do barely any damage. Hopefully they go after my Toxic Oak here. I want to see how much HP we can actually recover here. So they're going to be able to come back with um, Hero Form, Palafin later. Who are you bringing in now? It's just going to be Politoed. Okay. That's fine. Oh, they're going to go for a Baton Pass. Are you going into Palafin? Are you just going to give me your Palafin? Oh, no. Our Chaladon. Did I go Drain Punch or did I go Poison Jab? I can't remember. Surf is going to come out here. Going to barely do any damage to the opposing side. <laughs> she has not a bad chunk. They are going to get a stamina boost. Please tell me I went for the Drain Punch. I did go for Drain Punch. Lovely. And we get the KO on the Archaladon. Oh, you love to see it. We're just cooking them with Toxicroak right now. They tried going for the flip turn on a Toxicroak too. Oh, Lord. Now they got the Palafin back in. Um... Again, I still have my... I still have my Focus Dash on my on my Toxicroak here, so... Unless they double down into Toxicroak, they're not picking up a KO here. And they shouldn't go for the Icy Wind. And Toxicroak is gonna avoid it. <laughs> no shot. So that, that's kind of... That's kind of pointless. Drain Punch is gonna come into the Politoed. Pick up the one hit KO on the Polytoad. Jesus, Toxicroak plus two with Drain Punch is doing damage. And Surf is gonna come out here. Gonna get rid of this Palafin, and that's GG's, man. Yo, this team already putting in work. Yes, I get no restricted mod on their side, but regardless, it's a Toxicroak putting in work. All right, that's the last mod is gonna be that Blaziken. They haven't Terrastalized, so they might even Terrastalize right here. But we'll go into the same thing. Surf, plus a Drain Punch. Perfect way to get the video started. Battle was canceled. I think I'll put this one up, even though they had no restricted mods. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Andres, and they've got a Sun Team. But unfortunately, they have the second option of, like, a second form of getting up Sun with Pranks or Whimsicott. So it's going to be kind of hard. 
Um. I could go into Toxicro Gluticolo. Or Toxicro Salamence. Hmm. I don't mind Toxicroak Salamence here. I'll bring Kyogre in the back and then maybe Ludicolo. Yeah. There is no real purpose for Pachirishu here. No, no redirection for electric type moves and then the mandibus would really just be there to set up tailwind but we can just get an icy wind off with ludicolo and lower their lower the opposing side speed so we'll see we'll look just to go for a fake out onto someone then maybe do some big damage with draco meteor or or steel terra terra blast you know maybe the flutter main is there i wouldn't mind that and actually the flutter main might be a good lead here no it's gonna be correct on it when it's gone Hmm. Okay. Clear amulet. Um. Right on. They could just be going for a tailwind here. I'm gonna go fake out into the right on. Just straight go it, man. What a hurricane! The whims caught instead. Yeah, let's work in the Whimscott. I know it's 50% accuracy. Oh, they didn't protect or Terrasalize, man. They go for the Tailwind. We should have gone Draco onto the Coridon. Coridon's gonna flinch. Do we land the Hurricane? Ah, that was a mistake. Big mistake right there. Big, big, big mistake. Let's swap in Kyogre, Steel Terra on the Salamence, and go for the Draco onto the Corridor now. Because now they feel like they're in a good position. We're going to get the random. I doubt they go for the Sunny Day, right? I doubt they go for the Sunny Day. They didn't do it for the first turn. I doubt they do it the second turn. So we're going to Steel Terra here. They probably go for... Even if they go for the Flare Blitz, it's still not going to be enough. Now, Collision Course is scary, but I doubt they go for a Collision Course. Encore. They just Encore my Kyogre. Perfect. And they go for the Breaking Swipe. Does nothing. And I'm a special Salamence, so thank you very much. All we need to do is land the Draco, and we land the Draco. This should be picking up the K on the Coridon. Beautiful. Huge KO right there. I'm going to take some life orb damage. Um, I do need to get rid of this Whimsicott here. They're going to go into Ogre Pond. I could go into Ludicolo here and then just rip a Terra Blast into the Whimsicott. Yeah, I like that. Because they might just go for a Sunny Day here. They might just go for a Sunny Day and Ivy Cudgel. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not Ivy Cudgel. Horn Leech into the Kyogre. Chaludico is going to take this pretty nicely. Take off for that Encore, man. Woodhammer leaves me on 6 HP. That's dumb. Oh, Lord. Who do I swap in here? I kind of want to swap in my... Swap in someone safely, I think. So I could just fake out the Ogre Pond. Or... Mm, let's just Icy Wind. Let's Icy Wind and let's go for... Toxicroak? 
Yeah, let's go talk stroke. And they should have withdrawn Ogre Punch. It's actually pretty nice. Into Shen Pao. So we're actually going to lower their speed a little bit. Are you going to go for that sunny day? I'm still waiting on that sunny day, baby. They do have Tailwind up, so... Okay, they go Moonblast into... They're still outspeeding my Ludicolo. A little frustrating. So we're going to be able to get that full HP back. We're going to have our lovely Focus Dash activated. Do I want to go into Salamence or Kyogre here? What are our speeds looking at? 152, 156. Kyogre's fastest. Oh, Kyogre. I will Kyogre. I could go just Surf. Plus Poison Jab. Yeah. Because they might even protect Shen Pao expecting the Fake Out. So if we just double down into the Whimsicott and get rid of it. Not too bad. Who, who's their last Mon again? Oh, the uh, Ogre Pond. That thing is pretty speedy. Yeah, they should go for the Tailwind. No Protect comes out from them. So who are they targeting here? Night Slash into Kyogre. We survive on sick, baby. Let's go. So Surf is going to come out here. Going to do a decent chunk onto... We just pick up the KO on Shen Pao. No Focus Sash on that thing. Actually, yeah, it makes sense. Focus Sash was probably on the Whim's Cop. So Poison Jab is going to come out here onto the whim. Picks up the double KO now. And now it's a 3v1 against a Ogre Pawn. Yes, Ogre Pawn. Which we should be able to win because now my Toxic still has Focus Ash. Thank you very much. We're just going to protect here and we're going to go for the Drain Punch. And that's going to be a GG's. Let's go, baby. Now, if they have Horn Leech, that could be the only issue, but battle's gonna be canceled anyways let's go boys ggs we've got a battle against dad and <laughs> they've got him right on team and they definitely have sunny day on that damn tornadus okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see i could go into we are electric tower here i could go into these two bring potrisha in the back I'll close off a toxic group because Toxicroak is really nice here. Hmm. I don't know. Because they probably turn out some ride on. And then probably go Sunny Day and then Electro Drift. And probably go Electro Drift into my Kyogre slot. But then we could just easily swap into Pachirishu. Let's go for that. Let's go. Let's try it. Let's try it. So the idea is, if they lead Maridon, they definitely want to Electro Drift into my Kyogre. We can easily swap into Pachirishu, taking that shot like nothing, because we have Volt Absorb. Get an Icy Wind off, and hopefully start getting speed control a little bit like that. Maybe. It's going to be Torn and Lando. So I could just protect here. Uh, actually, I don't need to protect, I think. I'm just gonna go Water Spout and Fake Out. Or Icy Wind. No, let's go Fake Out first. Let's go Fake Out first. Fake Out the Lando. And they're going to straight to Rasslice. It's going to be that Landorus. Is it poison? Well, unless you're Cover Cloak, which normally they don't. Normally they're Life Orb. You're going to be gone. Unless they Sunny Day. So Fake Out comes out first. We're going to Fake Out the Lando. No, they should go for the Bleak one. 
which we both survive. Landers flinches. Water spout comes out here. And we pick up KOs. Lovely. We just burned their tower like that. And Tornado survives on Focus Ash. Beautiful. And they got no no speed drop on my side. So now I can just go for an Icy Wind here and protect my Kyogre if I want to. I don't think I really have to. It's gonna be Ogre Pond with Water Absorb. I'm just gonna go Thunder and Icy Wind. Yeah, let's go Thunder Icy Wind. They go Tailwind. We should be able to outspeed still. Please? No, they outspeed us. Alright. Sure, protected. I was hoping we still outsped. But I see one's gonna come out here. Now my Ludicolo outspeeds this Ogre Pawn. And we could just continue to go for Icy Winds on their side. Ooh, actually, who do you have? Who do you have here, probably? They probably have the Maridon in the back, right? So let me show Pachirisu. It's gonna be that Maridon. Remember, I do have Electric Terra on this thing. I do have Electric Terra on my Ludicolo. So let me go for follow me and let me go for another icy wind. Unless you have discharge, we should be fine here. So Pachiri should be <laughs> just walling this Maradon right now, I think, right? Unless you have Draco. Play Dragon Pulse. Wow, that does a ton of damage. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Holy. Ice even comes out again. Gonna lower the Ogrepon to minus two and run right it to minus one now. And Pachirisu dies out here. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Now we come out with Toxicroak here. <sighs> they got two more turns of Tailwind still. I think I fake out the Maridon. And go for another Icy Wind. Or do I terrestrialize my Ludicolo here? I mean, my uh, do I toss my Toxic Scroll into fire? No, I don't need. I don't need to yet. Let me just fake out them right on, and go for another icy wind. Let's get the speed drops. The spiky shield, the orc pond. That's fine. It's perfect. That's perfect. And Ludi Cole is actually out beating them right on already. Yeah, Ludicolo's already outspeeding the Maridon. Wow. <laughs> that thing is fast. Poison Jab and Icy Wind? Yeah, I think I, I think I like Poison Jab and Icy Wind here. We should be able to outspeed both these guys now. Ludicolo definitely outspeeds. Put them both to minus three each, meaning that my Tox Stroke should be able to outspeed both of them now. Correct? There's one speed drop. Another speed drop. They're both minus three now. Tox broke out speeds. Poison Jab comes out here. Doesn't pick up the KO on Ogre Pond. Oh, no shot. No shot. No shot. Oh my goodness, this season goes to full HP. You've got to be kidding me.
Maridon is just dumb. <laughs> Maridon is just dumb. I needed to go after the Maridon, man. Oh, come on, dude. I needed to double into them right on there. That's my fault. That's so stupid. Screw this game. We've got a battle against Wash here, and they've got a Ice Rider Calyrex. Um. Don't really see the trick room on the team. So probably a speedy Calyrex here. No. No weather control on their side. So I might show into Kyogre Ludicolo here. Get some icy winds off, which would be pretty nice here. And then finish off with Toxtroke and Salamence. Oh boy, I've been having a fun time with this team, let me tell you. <laughs> A real fun time. I've, I've, I've been coming this close to winning games. This close. It's ridiculous. But let's see what Washier got. What are they going to lead off with here? Probably Galarian, Moltres. I don't know. Urshifu and Calyrex. Dark type Urshifu. Interesting. I'm just gonna go surf and fake out. Go into wicked blow if you want, that's fine. No, we're still we're even out speeding. We pick up the KO on Urshifu. Okay, pretty cool. Not really sure what they were going for. And Calyrex is gonna flinch, so they were going for Trick Room there. 100 percent they were going for Trick Room. Got the iron leaves now. Max attack. I think I protect my Kyogre here and then go for Hydro Pump to the Calyrex. I could go for Icy Wind here, but getting rid of this Calyrex is probably going to be more important because it probably wants to set up the uh, Trick Room. So Hydro Pump does connect. Calyrex survives on 1 HP. Leaf Blade does go into my Kyogre. Don't show me Trick Room. Glacial Lance. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh? Calyrex is doing that much damage? My goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's neutral damage. Onto my Ludicolo. Oh my goodness. Well, we just go for a water spout and then we go for a fake out. Jesus Christ, that did damage. Oof. That was crazy. Calyrex is going to protect. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to figure out the Iron Leaves. And look to do as much damage as possible with this Water Spout. Definitely not picking up the KO, but doing a good chunk. Yeah. And then they probably uh, pick up the KO with Leaf Blade here. Oh, no, wait, no, we, we flinched him. What am I saying? So, we actually just saw that we outspeed that thing, so we're just going to go into this. And that should be picking up double KO. Water spell double connects, picks up the KO on the Calyrex, and picks up the KO on the leaves. That's going to be bye-bye to both of them, and now it becomes a 3v1. And that should be GG's. Poison jab into the flare. Because <laughs> no one's in the way. And who's gonna be your final mon? By the way, Talk Scroll Shiny looks so sick. I love it. Looks so cool. So who's gonna be that last mon? Come on. Who you got? 
gonna be the Moltres. Well, we know what to do here. We go for Surfs. And we go for a Poison Jab. That's gonna be GG's. I'm surprised he didn't go for a Sucker Punch. That's what I was expecting, a Sucker Punch. So Surf comes out here onto the Moltres. Does about half. Berserk is gonna activate, give it a plus one. The Poison Jab is gonna come out before it. Yo. What's up with leaving Pokemon on one HP? I need to have a conversation here with this game. This game is not fair. <laughs> But that's going to be GG's. Carrier's going to go for a Surf. Going to heal up my Toxic Croak to around 140. 141. And pick up the KO on the Moltres. That's going to be a GG's. All right, we got a battle against Ace. And they've got an Airlock Rayquaza here. It's kind of tough. Pretty tough. And if you get that thing to allow that thing to go for a plus two with E-Speed. Kind of tough. Uh, we need to get a way to find a way to get rid of it real quick. And it might just have to be Ludicolo and Salamence, and then we go Kyogre and Toshrop in the back. Because they definitely bring that thing into the back. If we can force it out quick and then get rid of it quick, that'd be not too bad. But we'll see. We'll see what we can get done over here. Definitely been a hard recording session. Not been the easiest. Tox Crow just really... Well, we also really lack, like, two more Pokemon. Mandibuzz, not the best on this team. Not the best. I won't lie to you guys. But we're going to commit to it. Amoongus and Flutterman. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go all, all, all out aggressive. All out aggressive. We're gonna go into a Steel Terra Terra Blast and we're just gonna fake out the Amoongus. Simple, quick, and easy. Now, if they protect, we're screwed. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't protect. So we're we'll gonna get the Steel Terra come out here. Go for that Steel Terra Terra Blast onto the Fluttermane. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to pick up the KO. Hopefully. Pick out comes out to the Moongus. No protect from them. They go for the Moon Blast. We survive that. And we go for the Terra Blast. Please, Salamence. Please. Thank you, Salamence. I love you. Perfect start. Perfect start. Now, we're still not out of it yet, because they still have a whole Rayquaza in the back. <gasps> oh my god. This game, man. Of course, I think it's Cover Cloak. There's a Rayquaza. There's a Rayquaza we all love and stuff to see. Let's go for Icy Wind and Hurricane. Salamence actually outspeeding here. Let's go for a D Dance. So now we don't outspeed anymore. <laughs> now we definitely don't outspeed. Actually, no, we're going to get an Icy Wind off here. So we still outspeed. Wow. No Terror, really? Sludge Bomb, really? Yo. This game. Hurricane Ice Wind again, right? Unless you go for E-Speeds. I'm not really too worried about that, though. That was canceled. Let's go. GG's. Oof. <laughs> quick game. Quick game. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Kyogre and Toxicro team is complete. And it was all right. It wasn't great. Definitely not the best water team there is. Toxicro was okay. It wasn't, you know... Toxicro, like, it needs that Source Dance, that plus two, in order to start dealing some damage. You know, there was multiple times where... If Toxicroak would have had that plus two, we would have been able to pick up some KOs. But unfortunately, since we didn't, we fell short and ended up losing the games. And then at the same time, uh, Mandibuzz really doesn't fit in this team really that well. 
I just wanted to try out a different form of setting up a Tailwind. But like I said, really not the best way of setting up a Tailwind on this team. Definitely, you benefit much more with a Tornadus with um, Tailwind and Rain Dance plus the Prankster, obviously. But yeah, overall, decent team. Potrishu looks pretty interesting. Unfortunately, we didn't really get much use out of it with the Maridons. We had one game with the Maridon where it sat in front of us and they went for a Dragon Pulse instead of a electro type move so we really didn't get to see it in action but regardless had fun with the team it was pretty enjoyable to have something new unfortunately it's, like i said it's pretty tough to get these teams to get to work in these in this regulation g with all the meta pokemon meta teams really tough but hey we had some fun but i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please feel free to like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya